Good morning, good evening, good day. Hello, everybody. I do have a few minutes to spare today, and I have thought about coming in here on Facebook Live Road Download to those who are watching in different parts of the world. I want to speak blessings to you, grace and mercy upon your lives, the richness and the wealth of the kingdom of heaven flourishing in your life right now. Everything that God has for you, that we are receiving it now in the name of Jesus. Hello, Sister Candy. Hello, Jonathan. Good to see you guys. I do have some time to spend with all of you here on Facebook Live. And I want to share a little bit of the reflections that I have this morning. Hello, Brother Ray. Hello, Mong. Hello, everybody. I am with all of you in spirit. Hello, Sister Margie. And as you can see, the sun is shining here now in Florida. But I just want to share this with you um, to have this reflection that I had in John 16, 33. And I want to just express that God is good all the time. God is good all the time. God knew from the very beginning. God has given all the answers. God has a reason and a purpose for everything. God is never caught off guard. God has been in the beginning and in the end. God made us because He's seen the end of us. He began to create us because He has seen what is already in the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus Christ came because of what's the end of all things is that those who believe in him shall be in eternal joy, eternal peace. We are all heading that way because those who have trust in the name of the Lord will never be put to shame. Let me say that again. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, that he said, those who trust in the name of the Lord will never be put to shame. The degree of our trust in the Lord is seen in times of crisis, in times of difficulties, in times of trials. This is when we will be tested and seen how much we trust the Lord. And we shall not be put to shame. And so we have to thank God for the word and believe it. That I thank God, Father, right now. That even in my weakness, I am strong because of the promise of God. I am strong because of Jesus as my strength. Not my strength, but it is Jesus Christ's strength in me who draws me. To get to that point of where he has actually ordained me to be. You have been preordained before the creation of the world. You have passed. I'm going to say this right now. You have come past through these trials that you're going through right now. This crisis that you're going through right now. The test you're going through right now. I know and I believe that you already have come through it. Whether in the physical or the spiritual. And most importantly in the spirit. We already have passed through it. Why do we know this? That we have already passed through these trials and crisis and tribulation. Because Jesus has already passed through it. Jesus Christ has victoriously passed through the tribulation. And he has taken us with him. It says in John 16, 33, and this is so important, my brethren. 
I'm going to read this in this translation. John 16, 33. Jesus said, and he knew what we're going, going to go through. He said, in the world, you are having tribulation. This is the translation of how it was written in Greek. He already knew. This is a present word. In the present time, he said, in the world, you are having tribulation. Even at the time of Jesus Christ, there's already tribulation. And he said, but, but be having courage. I have come off victorious over the world with a permanent victory. This is a translation that we must understand in the spirit. That Jesus already knows what we're going through. But, here is the but. Even though we're going through this, he said, be of good courage. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Not because of what we're going through and how we're feeling the crisis and the trial and tribulation and the pressure, but be of good cheer and be of good comfort. Be of good confidence. Be of great trust. This is the time that this we have to apply. This is the time that this we have to demonstrate. That we have to be of good cheer because He has overcome. It means He has come off the trials and tribulations even harder than what we are going through now. Or what everybody's going through now. Whatever the world is going through now. Whatever worse things can take place in the world. Jesus has overcome it. No matter what, he said, I have come off victorious over the world. And here is the word translated. He have come off the world with a permanent victory. Glory to God. That means no one and nothing can take out our condition and our state in our spirit and in our soul. That we are victorious. That we are in a state of heaven that is filled with joy and peace. We are in the world, but we are from a different world. Even Jesus, he had to go through the sufferings here in the world. But he wasn't paying attention much to it because he knew he's from another world. He knew he just has a mission here to fulfill so that all those who will believe in him shall experience the kingdom world that he came from. Jesus came from the world of heaven. If we are not portraying if we are not displaying the courage, the cheerfulness, the confidence of knowing that the world we came from is a world of power over darkness. This is the time, and I want to share three things with you. That this is the time to reflect the meaning of of tribulation in another translation in the world you are having trouble you will have trouble the other translation says tribulation if you look at the greek translation of tribulation it means pressing together meaning oppression there is compression in tribulation right now Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. That we have to have the mindset, the thinking, the spirit. What is this world going on through right now? The pressing. We are going through a pressing time. 
we are going through pressure right now. What is this pressure and crisis bringing to us? What is this trouble bringing to us? And I heard this in my spirit as the God brought it down to me. Three things in the time of pressure, time of trouble, three pressures. The pressure that we are receiving now of what's going on in the world around you, wherever you are, not just about the sickness and disease, even in, in your financial situation, even in your relationships, we all go through troubles. We all go through troubles because Jesus said, you will have trouble. Yes, we do. But on those times, how do we respond to the three troubles? Three things. When we are being pressed by crisis, when we are being pressed hard, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When I said that, because I can sense some pressure in a lot of people, I can sense some pressure right now and troubles to many, many, many people in the world that there's these three things. The pressure, the tribulation, the trouble causes three things. It, it presses the best out of us, the best out of you. It brings the greatness out of you. It brings your true identity as God's out of you. It brings that true nature as sons of God out of us. The nature of compassion, kindness, and all these things that you don't probably even know you have and you can do that manifest the goodness of God through you is when that is being pressed right now. You will discover more who you are in God. You will be doing things that you probably didn't even do before in times of troubles and pressure. That this pressure and crisis will bring the best out of you. The greatness that kindness to someone that you have not done before. The giving to someone that you have not done before. That, that, that forgiveness out of you that you have not done before. Will come out of you. The mercy and grace will come out of you in times of trouble. Because we are being pressed hard. That you don't even know how much goodness you have. How much, how much love you have. How much you can love someone truly. Unless there's a crisis. This should press us to bring the best out of us. That now we can show truly how much we love our neighbor. How much we really would like to give generously to them. How willing are we to give what we have and spend time with them. How much we have that looks like God. Are we showing now in these times of pressing and trouble. And then the second thing of what trouble brings out of us. And pressure and pressing together is the worst of who we are. Of the worst of who we are. We had to see what are the bad things. What are the things that are unpleasant of this in me. That this thing is pressing me to bring out. Because the pressing is not only bringing the best out of you. But the pressing is to also purify you and press out the things that are, that are tainting you, that are contaminating you. Anything that is contaminating you in the soul and the spirit has to be pressed out of us. And what are these things? 
as we reflect during the times of lockdown and isolation we start thinking of our brothers we got angry about the brothers we cursed the enemies we had all these impurities that we have in our soul are also being pressed out because God is removing and purifying his church and his body that this is not anymore the time As you reflect during this time of pressing, of pressure, what are the things that I have done in my life that I am sorry about, that I need forgiveness about? What are those things that I have been practicing that I know I have to bring out of me and throw it out during this pressing time. And the third thing during this pressing, troubling, tribulation, and trials and crisis is not only pressing the good out of you, pressing the worst out of you for cleansing and cleaning, a deep cleaning. And I mentioned this, that there will be a deep cleaning Thank you, Jesus. And the deep cleaning can be painful. The deep cleaning can be uncomfortable. But we got to go through this. We got to go through this with faith and courage and believing that God already knows the result and outcome of who we are. And we are to be with Him in eternity he's removing some things but he's also bringing the greatness out of us and now the last thing and the third thing is the pressing when i said about trouble pressing compression we are now being pressed to get closer to one another and most of all we are being pressed we are being closed and pushed closer to God. That this brings people closer and being pressed towards God. That this is the time that we can draw to Him. The time that we kneel before Him. The time That as He brings the best out of us and that as He brings out the worst things out of us and to purify us, that we draw closer to God so we can be more like who He is. That we can draw the strength and the love of God that we need to release to others. A sense of God This is the time and the season that truly shows God's nature, our inner nature. And we have to reflect. We have to reflect on times like this. And you know what it is also? That our condition and our state in the in the spiritual and in the heavens is only one state and that should not be changed an unshakable and permanent state that's what jesus said that he came off victorious over the world with a permanent victory that word permanent victory we have that victory already No matter what, no matter what we're going through, we should always be encouraged, be of good cheer, because our Lord who owns us has already gone through it. So we all are going to come through this. And as we come through it during this crisis, we will come out even much better, much cleaner, much pure, and much more 
like God. This is the time that we come together and draw closer to God. John 16, 33, that be of good cheer because cheerful heart is the medicine to our body. Be of good cheer. Be of great joy. We are drawing our joy and cheerfulness from what's inside of us and not from what's the outside. Guard and protect your garden of Eden. You have the control and power to manage your being. You have been given the authority and delegated to manage your garden of joy, of peace, of trust, of, of righteousness, of being in the Lord. We are to guard it. Because He has already promised the authority that we have the keys to do it. So thank you so much, everybody. I love you all. God bless you. Hello, Sister Pia. Hello, Dante Barina. Hello, Maya. Sister Maya, hello. Hello, uh, Jay. Hello, Sister Margie. Hello, Pepsi. Dr. Pepe, thank you so much. Hello, Tishon Suggs. Ellen, thank you. Uh, Pia. Miklan, thank you. Pastor Lito. Papa B, thank you so much. Uh, Myra, thank you so much for watching. Elaine, thank you. Uh, Mang, thank you. Brother Ray, thank you. Alvet, thank you. My classmate and Candy in the Philippines. God bless you all over there. Powerful, powerful people of God. Standing in the gap in the Philippines that everyone else in the whole world, the sons of God, the remnants shall come through and God hears the prayers of the righteous. Thank you all. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow on Road Download with Pastor Christian Omlas at 8 a.m. United States, 8 p.m. in the Philippines. I love you all. God bless you.